Padres pregame thoughts, Padres and the Mets, first of three at Petco Park to close out the first half of the season. I know it's already been the first half of the season, but some people like to separate the first and the second half unofficially by the All-Star break. So last series before the All-Star break, before Soto and Hayter, and hopefully Tatis at some point here as a replacement, head to Seattle for the All-Star game and all the, the festivities. Good pitching matchup tonight. You Darvish on the mound for the Padres, Justin Verlander on the mound for the New York Mets. Both teams, as I said on the show earlier today, both teams are playing better baseball, but overall, they have underperformed. They're the two, maybe not most disappointing because I think the Cardinals, they're up there too, but they're definitely two of like the three most disappointing teams in Major League Baseball this year for sure. Uh, but again, they're playing better baseball. Padres have won three games in a row. The Mets have won five games in a row. Now with Darvish and Verlander, these are two guys that could end up in the Hall of Fame. And Verlander, he's pitching better as of late. So I would expect it to be a pretty difficult task for the Padres tonight. But with you, Darvish, he's interesting. Like he is a key to this game for me because he hasn't made a start since June because he was dealing with the flu, right? He didn't say it was COVID, but he was dealing with some sort of sickness. So I'm interested in seeing how he looks. How many pitches will you Darvish go today? How long will he go? I think the good news is they don't have to have Darvish go six and a third or seven innings. Like, they don't need that from him. It's not like the last game of a series and then there's four more in a row after that where you need to save some guys in the bullpen. There's a four-day break before that Philly series during the All-Star break. You had a day off yesterday. There's Snell and Musgrove who have been pitching very well as of late. They're pitching in the last two games of this series. Fresh bullpen. I think you don't have to have a quality start out of you, Darvish. It would be nice for him to go six innings, but you don't need 100 pitches out of him. So give it all you got you for five and a third, five and two thirds, whatever, and then you can have the bullpen take over from there. I know the bullpen's been shaky, but hopefully a day off can kind of help that a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really interesting series. Ha Sung Kim, I'm going to have him as my underdog fantasy pick for today. Half single, I'm going to go higher. I think he's going to get a hit. Verlander, he's a guy that doesn't always resort to the fastball, at least starts that I have seen of his. Um, not as of late. I haven't watched him as of late, but just this season whenever I've seen him, it's not like he's heavy with the fastball. Um, he's not afraid to use it, but I think Kim, that's a good matchup, believe it or not. I know it's right on right, but Verlander against Kim, I like that Kim matchup for tonight. So, it's going to be a packed Petco Park. Uh, it's going to be packed pretty much all weekend long. And I think it's going to be a really entertaining series, obviously. We know these two teams matched up in the wild card series, and we all know what happened with Joe Musgrove and the ears. By the way, go look at the Mets' Twitter, their post today. So stupid. Um, yeah, that just don't. I don't understand what they're trying to do there and talking about cheating or trying to infer that when... They've had a couple guys get caught for cheating this year. Um, they're kind of stepping into the Padres thing. You know how the Padres, they did the whole Kershaw meme thing and everything that happened after that. I feel like maybe that's what the Mets are stepping themselves into there. So hopefully that goes the Padres' way, and it's kind of like a karma there in this series. Uh, by the way, roster move, just saw it come down. Jose Castillo being sent down. Alec Jacob coming up. For the Padres, so an extra guy uh, that will be available in the bullpen as probably last man in the bullpen. Castillo obviously really, really struggled in that outing on, when was that, July 4th, the blowout, and then Hayter had to come into the game. So not surprised that he is being sent down. But yeah, that's pregame thoughts, postgame reaction coming up after the game. Go Pods!